Bronco enthusiasts! Welcome to Rising Phoenix Bronco. I'm Keith and uh, today we are working on the engine bay of the 68 Bronco. I have already ground off all the flat panels, gotten all the tar rust off of the flat spots. Problem is, is all the nooks and crannies, uh, there are spots on this Bronco you cannot get a grinding wheel uh, into and we're gonna do a little sandblasting. That's why I've got this uh, tarp and all that stuff. Just try to keep some of the sand uh, in the area here. And uh, once we're done with that, then we can fill all the holes in the firewall that we're not going to use. Uh, then we'll come back through uh, 2K primer it, get a good base coat on there. I'm not sure if I'm going to clear it or just going to go with a single stage lacquer yet. Uh, but basically trying to get the engine bay all tidied up so it's neat and nice underneath. Okay, this is the end of the first day of sandblasting and you can see down on the ground here, I mean just piles of sand that were contained, but uh, things that I have learned from this experience, number one, lighting is important. Uh, that tarp, while it's great for keeping sand back, also doesn't let you see very well. Uh, so I've got some spots here that are still dark uh, that have got grease, rust, whatever on them. Other spots uh, still have the body filler from 1968 still stuck in here. Uh, did a pretty good job so I'm still thinking I'm gonna have to go uh, with an epoxy primer uh, to get it done. Uh, inside the wheel well here where the battery was, you know, had like a little pit of acid, I'm not acid, a little pit of rust right here, and as I did it, it just kept on going up, 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 where this whole thing had like a light layer of rust under the paint. Paint looked absolutely fine, but underneath it was this light layer of rust, uh, so that obviously concerns me. Touch the frame for just a little bit, but I didn't even get to uh, this side over here and I went through a brand new box of uh, the silica 80 grit uh, so we'll have to sweep this all up clean it up and uh, start again so hey uh, perfectionism not really what I'm going for but yeah I guess I am oh you know that's one of those lies we tell ourselves oh this is good enough no nah, it's not good enough uh, the other thing I got to do is go through and put some blue tape on all the spots uh, like I missed underneath here, uh, I noticed uh, that's where I need to get. And the other thing is, is uh, these shock towers and stuff are underneath the inner fender wells, which I'll eventually get to when I drop the, you know, do the suspension type work, uh, because I'm not doing a full body off restoration at this time. Uh, but gee, uh, you know, I I've got the frame. Uh, the body bolts are still loose in a lot of places. I'm also lift it up and get the backside of it. Uh, while I can, I, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll have to play with that one. But you know, the real reason I got started on all this stuff was this area is, you know, right in here on the frame. I haven't sandblasted it. That's just the way it is, and it's, you know, getting rusty. Uh, so that's what prompted me to pull the engine bay apart. Uh, I'm glad I did, but uh, yeah. And by the way, the sand gets everywhere. So you know, don't. Uh, highly recommend. Maybe I'll go with clear, you know, painter's uh, plastic around as an enclosure so I get some light inside and still contain the dust. Quick little update. I've uh, been sandblasting. I think I've refilled this tub three times, sweeping it all up, putting it through a strainer to make sure. I was worried about this gap in here, like how am I going to spray this without running paint, da 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 da. And then when I was cleaning it, you can see where the guy from the factory had the paint run, not once, but right in here also you can see the runs going down. So yes, this is obviously a tricky spot to spray, and if I didn't notice those runs before, I probably won't notice the runs I'm probably going to leave there myself. So we're getting there, uh, got pretty much so everything as, uh, let's go back out, got everything, you know, sandblasted down, no not going down. Uh, to bare metal. I'm going to OSFO everything, then rinse it, wash it, uh, and then start with my, uh, my primers. So that's the plan. <laughs> 